Welcome to CRM Crew, my name is Nick and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to be demonstrating how you can use filters in the Zoho CRM system. So of course once you log into your Zoho CRM system you'll come to your home screen. From here we can go to any module that we'd like to filter records for. So in this instance I'm going to use our contacts module as I've got some dummy data in there. So go over to your contacts module and you'll be presented with, the, um, with what you usually see, your records uh, inside of that module. Now, I want to filter these records, so if I go to the filter button in the top left corner, you'll then be presented with the filter options that you've got. Now, we've got two types, we've got system defined filters and we've got filter by fields. I'll come back to filter by fields, but quick, quickly, I'll explain system defined filters. And essentially what they are is when is, is a means of filtering records by the engagement that they've had by either the user or the system. As a quick demonstration, I'll go to touch records here. Now, touch records essentially says, I want to search all the records that have been engaged or touched, essentially changed by either the user or the system. Now you can change these parameters as you wish. And I'll quickly show you, you've got user or system, user, system, only user, and only by system. Um, the system essentially refers to the, the CRM system um, and any background workflows that might have made a change to that particular record. So let's say that something has triggered something. So let's say as a, as a vague example, um, a contact related to a deal and that deal has moved on to another stage of the deal process, the sales pipeline, um, that, that new stage might trigger a, a workflow that might have an impact or make a change on a record. So that's what touch records are and untouched records would be the complete opposite so any records that have been untouched in x amount of time either by the system or the user um, you've also got record actions and related record actions so related record actions is modified or not modified so has a related record action been modified by the either the user or the system or not modified by either the user or the system you've got related records action so has the related records been done or not done? And then again, you can filter um, by the user or the system in the last X amount of days. Uh, and not only that, the parameters for the time span can be changed um, however, however you'd like to search or filter the records by. You've got activities notes, which uh, essentially have any activities or notes been added to the um, to a particular record, and are they overdue? Open activity without an activity. Activity has been done, and then obviously again you can set the time parameters for these activities. Um, notes is has any written notes been added or without any notes? Um, deals now deals is really clever because it essentially ties in the deals module with contacts so any contact that is related to a deal will essentially be a, you'll be able to track from the contacts and then filter the contacts according to those deals so I'll give you an example deal stage so let's say I want to filter all the contacts that are associated with deals that are at the that are at the deal stage needs analysis for example and then you can press apply filter so that's really clever and then obviously the final one is campaigns um, and you can filter your contact records um, by the involvement in campaigns and then you could really grill that down and go I want to see all the advertisement campaigns that have been completed and the campaign name if you if you needed to go this far was all right you could give a name of unfortunately I haven't got any campaigns so I've got none to search by now filter but filter by fields is very different so as opposed to filtering by behavior or interaction with a record you're actually filtering by data inside of a record so if you go to account name for example you know you could say right I want to search all the records with the account name CRM crew and then you can apply that filter and it will show you all the account. Uh, it will show you all the contacts with the account name CRM crew. So, so that, and obviously you can you can add lots and lots of different um, parameters or filters to one filter. So you can say, oh, I want to see all the records with the account name CRM crew that were involved in a campaign that um, have been touched in the last X amount of days. And then you could save this filter. So then press save. And I would recommend doing this, especially if you're going to build out a large number of filters, is adding a number at the start. So 
obviously this will be our first filter, so it'll be filter number one, and obviously the next one will be number two, number three, and so on. This just makes it really easy to recognize which filter that you want. So I do number one and then give it a name. So in this instance, our filter is account name CRM crew, and then I'd press save. Now once I press save, we get a new section in our filter area called saved filters. Now we can then use this at any time we um, come back to the filter area. And this would be really useful, especially if it's more than one filter. If you've got lots of filters for that save filter, and it'll save a hell of a lot of time just by saving that filter and being able to go and quickly jump, right, I wanna see all the records for that. If it's useful data, that's really important. And bear in mind that these will also constantly be updating. So any record that's added to the Zoho CRM system with the account name CRM crew will automatically come under that filter because obviously it matches the criteria. Um, if you're finished with filters, all you need to do is just press the clear button and then it will show you all of the records with no filters matched. And then you can hide this away again if you'd like to. And then come back to it and then quickly add, okay, I wanna say, I wanna see all the account, uh, all the contact records with the account name CRM crew and that will show you, and it's just as easy as that. And as you build that out, you'll find that filters in the Zoho CRM are exceedingly useful. And it really is just that simple. I hope this video has been useful and has clearly explained how to use filters in your Zoho CRM system. Uh, if you do have any further questions or need any help with your Zoho CRM system, feel free to drop me an email at nick at crew.co.uk. Uh, my email is in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I will see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.